Okay guys, it's Okage of Gaming with a, board, a Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers uh, gameplay, slash, gameplay discussion slash recap. And some might think it clickbait that I say the discussion and I won't have a trailer in the video, but the only, the only thing stopping me is that I got a copyright uh, claim slash strike from Bandai Namco and the trailer, the, not the trailer, the video that I had the trailer in got demonetized and that kind of sucked, I'll, I'll put an image on screen, so instead of having video in here, I'm gonna put some background music in and we're just gonna have to deal with um, some, what's it called, screenshots, and if they demonetize it for that, uh, like, with screenshots, then I don't know what to say. So in the new trailer, in the new gameplay trailer that was released today, we got some new modes and got something called, um, uh, I I'll call them ninjutsu types. So we have four different types. The first type is the attack type. Uh, the characters so far in the attack type are Naruto, Hain, and Kakashi. I'll read the description. Attack type. Attack power and speed are strong. So that's a simple thing. Uh, the next type is the defense type. In the defense type, we have Kisame. I'm not sure if I'm doing them in the same order as they were revealed in the trailer, but that shouldn't really make much of a difference. The defense type has Kisame in it. We have uh, per Perfect to reinforce the defense. Uh, next, we have Heal. Heal type. They not only heal themselves, but they also heal the others. So the others in their, te in their team. I'm pretty sure it's eight. Yeah, it's eight in all. I'm assuming that it's four v four. So you can heal the people on your team, and if you have a healer, you can obviously heal the people on the enemy team. The enemy team's healer will heal the people on the enemy team. And I'm pretty sure this is the last one. We have range type. Good at long distance attacks. Oh, for the heal types, person in that group is Sakura. Because you know, like Sakura. Uh, in range type, we have Sasuke, Itachi, and what's her name? Dang, I'm really drawing a blank here, but we have... I really can't think of her name. The blue hair girl, I don't know why her name is slipping from me at this point in time, but we'll just do a Google search real quick. Um, I don't know why I can't remember. Um, Conan, that's her name, Conan. It's been quite a while, Conan. Okay, so as I was saying, the characters in the range type are Sasuke, Itachi, and Conan. And the description is range type good at long distance attacks. I'm pretty sure I had already read that. And with the new types that are out, uh, yeah, the ninjutsu types, you also have game modes that came out. Uh, the first one that was revealed was the barrier battle, which battle between attack and defense forces. So it's kind of like a capture point in Overwatch and games like that, where you capture that point and then you have a boss to fight. And I'm pretty sure it would be whoever like lands last hit on the boss, or if it's like a team has to go... Uh, okay, a time limit. Because there's no, no official details yet, but it's like a time limit, and then you have to defeat the boss in that time limit to win. Or if you fend off the other team from beating the boss, then you win. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work. I could be wrong, but who knows? The game hasn't came out yet. Uh, let me flag battle. Um, flag battle, it's obviously capture the flag. Pretty obvious. If you take too much damage, then the flag will obviously pop off of you. And then you'll have to send a teammate out to uh, get the, what's it called, uh, the flag. Uh, let me see, what is this? Oh, that's not it. Seal pile. That's also another new mode. Seal pile. Wait. Nope, never mind. My mistake. I had my things confused. This and another video. Let me see if I can find it. Or did I cover all of them? Oh, here's what I was thinking of. Mission modes, not seal pile. 
mission mode, sub mode mission, escort, extermination, subjunct, subjugation, uh, those are the three mission modes, uh, sub mode missions, so obviously escort, you're going to be escorting a character or like a scroll or something like that to a certain point and if you get to that point you win, if the enemy team stops you from getting to that point you obviously lose. Extermination, I guess it's going to be in a raid boss fashion, like let's say uh, you travel back in time so you have to defeat Kurama at the, what's it called, when he was attacking the village uh, with Minato, even though Minato is a playable character, he's most likely going to be a playable character. And subjugation, I'm actually not sure what that word means, uh, don't roast me in the comments, sub, sub, Subjugation, there we go. Uh, we're so, yeah, we're still recording. The action of bringing someone or something under domination or control. Uh, so, that's obviously what subjugate. Sub what subjugate? Subjugation means, I don't know why I stopped thinking for a second. So, I guess. Instead of with extermination, you beat them, you have to restrain them for a certain amount of time. I'm not sure how they'll implement that, but they know how to develop a game and I don't. So, now I'm gonna tell you why I have faith in this game. I've seen other videos on why people don't think the game is good. Oh, it's a trailer, so it'll, they should be selling the game to you immediately. Now, if a Call of Duty game isn't good, like with Advent, not Advent Warfare, with Infinite Warfare, they're gonna be massive dislikes, people are gonna bash it, bash it, bash it, and they're still gonna buy it. That's regardless, that's regardless of anything that happens, they're still gonna buy it. Now obviously, hardcore Naruto fans are gonna buy it. Now I'll buy it if I have the money, that's my case. But, I'm still, I'm still obviously gonna watch it, and if it's a good game, then I might uh, consider purchasing it. Now, with Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, that game is square, 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 A, 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 X. Like, you just press that button a certain amount of times, you do your combo, it's super flashy, and that's it. The most depth that it gets into is with breaking your opponent's uh, shield and your substitutions. That's as far as, that's as complex as it gets. With this, I th I am hoping that we get more combos, whether it's like X, no, not X, yeah, X, square, circle, circle, R trigger, or something like that. Just more depth than just uh, pressing one single button and doing a combo that could potentially do a lot more damage than it should. I'm, ho I'm also hoping that it gets frequent balances and patches and such so we can I keep the game interesting, there's obviously going to be DLC. From the gameplay we've been seeing, we haven't seen Boruto yet, so I'm assuming that this will take place in the last arc of Shippuden, um, and then we'll be moving on to Boruto gameplay, so that'll, that'll either be DLC or come with the game, uh, possibly come with the game because people might be mad if it's uh, DLC later. And it's, I'm pretty sure they said that the projected release date is 2018, so um, and what, what, it's July now, July 2017 is the month that is now, the month that I'm recording, so maybe by 2018, since Boruto uh, is already picking up in terms of anime, it's most likely going to be the Boruto storyline up to whenever they release it in 2018. And they could, if they really wanted to, to make sure you don't have to go out and buy another game, they'd add like the new arc or the new characters as hopefully free DLC. But uh, if the company wants to make money, they're gonna obviously release it as what's it called, paid DLC. So that's just my thoughts on the Boruto part and section of um, what's it called? Naruto to Boruto uh, Shinobi Strikers. I really want this game to succeed. I want all of the games to succeed. All the games that I like, I want to succeed because as a gamer, you should want the company to succeed. Now, the only possible problem is the community and not getting enough. I am from 
my standpoint, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a game to be taken competitively. But you also have to have the casual modes in order to keep the casual fan base pleased. I'm hoping this is taken competitively, but I wouldn't even mind if it's just a casual game that I'll say, Oh, um, hey friend, let's go, like, after we get home from school, you want to play, um, Naruto or Boruto? Yeah, like, sure. So we go, we hit up, uh, extermination mode, we do about capture the flag, and then we, we do our homework and we go to sleep. I wouldn't even mind that, because I don't even have that many games like that right now. Most games that I have are mostly competitive games. I won't mind, uh, a regular game to just sit down and chill with. Anyways guys, that's been my opinions, my thoughts, this uh, short discussion, this 10 minute discussion by myself with you guys. Uh, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Uh, I just wanted to get this video out because as I said before, Namco Bandai uh, demonetized my other video because I had actual gameplay so now I just had to deal with screenshots, what a shame. But yeah, I just wanted to get my opinion out there on this game. Please comment, please, if you see this, comment your opinion down below. I would love to hear, I, I love talking about games, just discussing what would happen if XYZ happened. Uh, just, yeah, just comment, share it with your friends, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video, whatever that might be. And as I always say, have yourselves a blessed day.